despite the fact things are going wrongly in our country, there are some people who still speak and stand for the truth. When I watched this, I, I was I was touched. You need to watch this. See you on the other side. Hello, good evening. This clip is titled Federal Government Obsessed with Obi and the Obedience. 48 hours ago, the presidential spokesperson, Mr. Ananuga, alerted the public that in the event of any breakdown of law and order, arising from the planned hunger strike in August, OB and obedience should be held purely responsible because federal government have discovered a plan that OB and obedience are the people behind this agitation for protest. Now, this sounds very comical. Comical, historical, comical. Why do I say this? Because he who asserts must prove. Government have all it takes to produce concrete, convincing proofs to the effect of their claim. Short of that, they should please respect themselves and keep quiet. OB is not responsible for the failure, absolute total failure of the APC government under Tinubu. OB is not responsible for your reckless borrowings that are not explainable. OB is not responsible for the hunger in the land. OB is not responsible for reckless statements. OB is not responsible for the decline in values. OB is not responsible for the collapse of businesses. OB is not responsible for all these uh, derailments, economic and political derailments. Indeed, OB is a victim of all these incapacities, inadequacies of the current regime. It seems as if the APC government are looking for a person or persons to hang in the event the strike succeeds. Let it be noted clearly that OB is innocent until proven guilty. Obedience are innocent until they are proven guilty. Unless evidences are made public, we will still assume that this is a speculation taken too far, desperation taken too far, and a total confirmation of failure of a government that is looking and chasing imaginary enemies.